Yeah, it looks like we have the numbers to kind of deal with this. Uh, oh, maybe. <laughs> I'm not sure where those 20,000 troops are marching. Uh-oh, to defeat? By the looks? Yeah. No, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Oh, maybe they have the numbers to take Castle Rock. Oh. Or oh, maybe we have the numbers to take Casterly Rock. Well, hold it, I suppose. Oh, yeah, they are outnumbered. Best send the reinforcements in now. All right, yeah, we should have this now with that numerical advantage. I'd be disappointed if we didn't win. Uh, wow, they seem to have most of their troops sort of lumped into the middle as well. So yeah. Um, it's not really over though, because there are still thousands of troops to take care of. This is a pretty big uprising in the Westerlands, and probably our main concern of the two. Uh, especially seeing as the... oh shit, the 12,000 have just uh, just reinforced them. Now there's 8,000 Westerlands troops, but they don't seem to be heading for the battle that they could easily turn the tide of. They seem to be fucking off elsewhere. Um, which I have to say is ill-advised. Hmm. We might arrive in time to help out the Vale, but we uh, we also might not. Uh, but we we should be able to take care of that wall fairly easily. But uh, this battle in uh, Castle Rock is just to reinforce them. <laughs> it was such an obvious thing to do. Oh, that's painful to watch, and that is a huge defeat and really annoying as well because those are those are our levies that you. Hanging out to dry as well as your own. And then there's the fact that they're rebelling in High Garden as well. Uh, well, they're just part of that rebellion. But it's, it's a lot of rebellion going on at once. And, uh, yeah, well, they're, they're hitting pretty hard at the moment before I've had a chance to really get my troops together. I don't understand how they still have 24,000 troops. I guess they must just be reinforced. Oh, yeah, the big chunk of reinforcements that they got that time. Okay. And now they have nearly 30,000 men, so this is pretty concerning, but... We'll try and stick with the bulk of the Westerland troops. Because there's no good we can do on our... Aha! A sun. I wonder what to name it. I'm just kidding, I'm naming it Stannis. Ha! How'd you go in there? Ah, terrific. Okay, so we have an heir. That's some that's some good news in amidst all this turmoil. Good, I like him already. He looks kingly. Not like all those other male heirs under the age of fifteen. <laughs> It is quite funny how they only have one portrait for children, or like two portraits. Yeah, Muriel's still not uh, particularly unpopular. Well, I mean she is, there's a massive revolt against her, but it doesn't look like anybody's willing to kill her. Her Master of Whisperers, however, perhaps she can be bought. I like how you, some, for some reason, have to like get a load of plotters into this sort of buying someone's loyalty thing. Like you're selling them a pyramid scheme or something. That's an interesting thought, but have you tried not being loyal for this lump of cash? I'll, I'll allow you to talk it over with some of your associates. Maybe they can sway you around to our way of thinking. Oh, so we won, uh, we won near the Eerie. And uh, I can declare war on the Riverland soon. Oh, interestingly, uh, I don't have any kind of truce with the Kingswood, or any claims on the Kingswood, but um, we'll see. We'll see about that. I might have some... That would be my dog. Sorry about that. That was, uh, that was my dog scaring the shit out of me by suddenly barking a lot in a dark house uh, on my own. So it looks like the West... oh, wow, yeah. I was going to say, so it looks like the Westland troops are marching on those in Castle Rock, um, which was going to be a close thing until I realised that there's the other 24,000 helping out. Yeah, yeah. Looks like they might get their revenge on this one. 
send some token reinforcements into the fray. That's funny because it's her territory and she is a fray. Hello again, Lola. Hello. Hey, dog. <laughs> She's done barking now, she promises. Wow. Yeah, that's a big, big victory there. Pretty much negates the uh, the one that the rebels had before. Hmm. Yeah, it says that the rebellion is led by Lady Bethany of the Arbor, but I feel like, yeah, the, yeah and it shows in the stats that the uh, troops from the Golden Tooth have been the main force behind this. So now it seems like the main threat is the troops in, uh, well, just outside of High Garden now. Yeah, it kind of looks like uh, Muriel's got it a bit all sewn up in the Westerlands. I was worried for a time, but uh, we're going to sail all the way up the Manda. Well, part of the way up the Manda. <laughs> and then we're going to, we're going to, well, you know, do the obvious thing and take out the remaining large force. Oh, um, well, the war for Lady Zia's claim on the Westerlands has ended. Um... I assume she is dead, because, yeah, she's dead. Ah, oh, shit like their friends. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't care at all. Um, so yeah, just two living members of House Lannister now. Tim and Sarah. <laughs> Tim. Tim is a strange name in this, uh, for, for someone of House Lannister. Sort of introducing yourself to people. Lord Tim. Tim, the Warden of the West. Yeah, no, it doesn't doesn't work. And apologies to anyone named Tim who occupies an authoritative position, but uh, I, I don't buy it. I'm sorry. Then again, Mitt Romney ran for president, and that's just Tim backwards. Or to Tim backwards, I can't remember. I feel like we're getting off topic. Um, so the... Rebellion for the Westlands uh, came to... It was kind of already decided anyway, but it came to a, a slightly abrupt end. Not that I'm going to complain. And the War in the Vale is pretty much uh, decided at this point, but we've got a lot of war score to uh, grind, I guess. One thing I noticed a second ago, that... Uh, didn't really think about probably was um, was the fact that uh, Stannis Jr. His opinion of me is generally positive. It's like around it's around a solid sixty. Um, but it's quite funny when you look at the, uh, the things that influence it. I'm busy faffing around with troops and making sure that I don't lose any levies at the moment. But the the gist of it is that one of the things that affects his opinion of us is court diplomacy, which is impressive for like a one-year-old child. Oh. So we, uh, we're going to try and assassinate someone else's Master of Whisperers, which would be nice because I'm sure like half of my Masters of Whisperers, that got away from me, but uh, half of the people who've filled that post have been assassinated at some point or other without me being able to really do anything about it. So it'd be good to be in the driving seat for the, uh, for the old, offing the, uh, Master of Whisperers car. My metaphors and <laughs> general, uh, sentences seem to be, uh, seem to be a bit of an issue today, but, uh, well, this rebellion can't go on that much longer, now that he's raised some nice cell swords for me to kill. Ah, except he got away from me. Hmm. That may have been a mistake to move into that territory, but we'll see. Oh no, actually, because now they're heading towards those islands. Which, while, you know, a form of retreat, obviously is a dead end, because they don't really seem to have any ships, or certainly not enough, anyway. So we'll just uh, hunt them down along that way. That's really expedited the whole process, because otherwise we'd have to capture some territory or other in the Vale, and I don't have an awful lot of the levies raised, so... Useful. Unfortunately, taking out those troops only leaves us with 85% war score. Hopefully they'll just surrender, though, which would be nice. 
Oh, apparently we're Lord of Driftmark now. He must have run out of airs. But that's no good because it's going to make people hate us because we have too many territories under our personal control. So let's find a chump and stick him with it. By which I mean exceptionally fortunate courtier. We gift it to them. There you go. Of House Boatmark. That's a fun house, I guess. Not very original given that you are Lord of Driftmark, but. Eh. So we have a suggestion to replace our Septon. Uh, he is a learned man. Uh, sure, let's do that. Oh. Oh, it was to replace our, our maester. Okay. Pretty sure it said Septon, unless the guy who replaced my maester was a Septon. Let's not worry about it too much. Ah, oh, come on. 99% war score. Really? Well, we may as well send our troops to... Uh, uh, go on holiday. Because... <laughs> uh, the rebellion is almost over. You've got a hundred percent war score now, come on. Just there we go. So Lady Gretchel is still Lady of the Vale. Good, and that brings to a conclusion both of those rebellions which were threatening our mother and wife respectively, and also, more importantly, the territories we stand to inherit from them. Um yeah, I think that worked out pretty well. There wasn't too much danger of it going awry, but... Well, it keeps things interesting. <laughs> Lady Muriel dies on our terms, not anyone else's.